Hello, good morning, folks. It's Monday, July the 20th, and this is Waking Up with Danny. Missed you guys last week as I was out with a sore mouth, but I'm feeling better this morning. So, without further ado, it's time for the weather. Dolores' Pass, west of the Baja, California, has sent a surge of deep tropical moisture up the Gulf of California into parts of the desert southwest. This is enhancing the threat of thunderstorms from the four corners into the deep southwest, including parts of New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, western Colorado, Nevada, and the deserts and mountains of southern California. More remarkably, comma, the moisture has also reached the coastal cities of Southern California, where July rainfall is rare and usually scant. When it does happen, that was not the case Saturday, where San Diego broke its all-time July rainfall record Saturday when 1.03 inches fell. That broke not only the July single-day record of 0.83 inches set on July 25th, 1902, but also the record for an entire July's rainfall, which was 0.92 inches in July of 1902. What's going on in the world? And by world, of course, I mean the United States. Currently, we got 73 in Sunshine, Minneapolis, partly cloudy in 63 in Denver, 68 in Sunshine in Boise, Seattle, Washington, partly cloudy, 62, San Francisco, California, a.k.a. the Frisco, a.k.a. SF, 67, partly cloudy, rain, and 75 degrees in Los Angeles, California, Alba, Querque is partly cloudy at 67, Denver, Colorado, partly cloudy, 63, Dallas, Texas, is sunshine and 81. St. Louis is 74 and thunderstorms. Omaha is 75 with some thunderstorms. Chicago, Illinois is 65, partly cloudy. Atlanta, Georgia, 75, partly cloudy as well. New Orleans is 80 with some thunderstorms. And San Antonio, Texas, 78 and sunshine. Miami and Orlando, Florida, both thunderstorms, but the former with 81 and the latter with 76. And Washington, D.C. is 83 degrees and the thunderstorms. Not to forget New York, New York, home of the baseballs, is 82 degrees with some boom boom storms. Stop the traffic, see what's going on. Stop the traffic, I'm waking up. This just in, an elevated section of Interstate 10 collapsed Sunday amid heavy rains in the California desert, including one driver killing millions. I'm sorry, that's a misprint. Killing no one, stranding many others, and halting travel for thousands by cutting off both directions of a main corridor between Southern California and Arizona. News. News. and things. It's time for the news. What does it all mean? News. News. around the world. It's time for the news. I'm waking up with Sandy. News. Well, more than half a century of Cold War and lingering enmity came to an abrupt and quiet end on Monday as the United States and Cuba restored full diplomatic relations. The new era began with little fanfare when an agreement between the two nations to resume normal ties on July 20th came into force just after midnight Sunday and the diplomatic missions of each country were upgraded from interest sections to embassies. When clocks struck 12 in Washington and Havana, they told a knell for policy approaches spawned and hardened over the five decades since President JFK first tangled with youthful revolutionary Fidel Castro over Soviet expansion in the Americas. In an epic drought has California farmers turning to water witches. Vern Tassie doesn't advertise. He never even had a business card. But here in California's Central Valley, word has gotten around that he's a man with, quote, the gift, end quote. And Tassie, a plain-spoken 76-year-old grandfather, has never been busier. Farmers call him a day and night. Some from as far as the outskirts from San Francisco and even across the state line in Nevada. They ask, sometimes even beg, him to come to their land. Quote, name your price, end quote, one told him, but Tassie has so far declined. What he does has never been about money, he says, and he prefers to work closer to home. It's never bothered Tassie that people call him a witch, though lately it's gotten him into a little trouble with the folks at church. 
few weeks earlier, a local television station out of Fresno came down to interview him after hearing of his skill. He'd never been on television before. The reporter asked me if I dabbled in witchcraft. Do I worship the devil? He laughed. A few days later at church, Tassie, a Baptist, got pulled aside by one of the church elders just to make sure. Well, this is kind of neat. Researchers believe they have found the grave of a man who could be the considered the first black male slave freed by Abraham Lincoln, tracking his final resting place to the cemetery of a former Minnesota psychiatric hospital. William Henry Costley was just 10 months old in 1841 when Lincoln, who was still a young lawyer, won an Illinois Supreme Court case freeing Costley's mother from indentured servitude, a status that historians said would have been akin to enslavement for the black woman and a child at the time. That was 22 years before Lincoln, as president, issued the Emancipation Proclamation declaring slaves in rebel states not under union control free. The stock market, the Dow in Texas. Money's and money's and matters. Money's and matters and money's and matters and money's and matters. Where are your investments today? Well, here we go again. Greece won't have much time to enjoy the $7.6 billion bridge loan organized by the European Union last week. EU officials have just announced that this financing has been sent to Athens today, following several days of work by the Brussels officials. But over in the Greek capital, the money is already being spent to address Greece's latest debt commands. Government officials have confirmed that the process of repaying $4.2 billion to the European Central Bank today has begun. That means Greece will avoid defaulting on its obligations to the ECB, which would have had some very serious consequences. Greece also plans to clear its arrears to the International Monetary Fund by sending $2.3 billion over to Washington. That will cover to $1.9 billion or so repayments due in June, which was missed as Greece staggered out of its previous bailout, plus a second payment due last week. So in short, Greece's creditors have loaned it more money so it can repay its creditors. Today in history, a lot of things have happened. Maybe a man flew to the moon. Maybe a baby was saved by a baboon. We'll get to the bottom of this and much, much more. On today in history, I'm waking up with Danny. It's today in history. On July 20th, today is Global Hug Your Kid Day. Today is also International Chess Day, Moon Day. I imagine it's the moon, not mooning people. Today is also International Nap Day. I can get behind that one. National Fortune Cookie Day. National Get Out of the Doghouse Day. National Lollipop Day. So suck on a lolly. And National Ugly Truck Contest Day. Who comes up with these things? Well, on this day so many a year ago, in 1994, O.J. Simpson offered a $500,000 reward for evidence of his ex-wife's killer. In 1988, Michael Dukakis selected the Democratic presidential nominee. In 1984, Vanessa Williams was asked to resign as Miss America. In 1976, U.S. Viking One lands on Mars. That was our first Martian landing. And in 1969, were the first men on the moon, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin with Apollo 11. Kind of interesting that the Mars landing in 1976 and the moon landing in 1969 were both on the same day. I wonder if that's just coincidence or whether or not it was planned. Birds. Waking up with Danny, talk.
talking about life and death. Well, in 1968, Robert Rodriguez was born. In 1947, Carlos Santana was also born. 1938, Diana Rigg also was born. And in 1938, Natalie Wood joined the world. And in 1932, Nam June Pike also was born. But people perished on this day in history as well. In 1996, Colin Campbell Mitchell Soldier died at 70. In 1993, Donald Alexander, system director slash producer of East Valley, died at 79. In 1989, Mary Treen, an actress, career in Rockabye Baby, dies at 71. 1983, Frank Reynolds, a news anchor from the ABC Evening News, dies at 59. 1979, Herbert Butterfield, a British historian, died. 1944, Ludwig Beck of the Chief Germany General Staff delied. In 1940, Y.G. Van de Piet, Dutch Director of Employment, commits suicide. And in 833, Ansegius, French Abbot of Fontenelle and author, dies at about 63 years old. And in 1031, Robert II de Rome, King of France, from 996 to 1031, also died. Time for the quote. Actually, not a quote today, but a poem by a one Mrs. Kimberly Peck, a.k.a. Lark. This beautiful piece titled, Ye Old French Broad. Ye old French broad, snicker here, giggle there. I laughed. I secretly wondered, French broad? Really? If I only knew then, now I do. She was intimidating at first sight. We're pretty close now, though. She's my bitch. Not really. She could eat me, swallow me whole. She's gentle. She carries us along at a swift or slow pace, depending. We use her for fun. How fitting. She's seen more than any of us could even imagine the life she harbors under her surface. The ultimate nurturer. Mother. The hobos and wanderers who have taken refuge at her banks where so many trains, so many, have passed, blown their whistle, gave a nod to the lady, the mistress, the French broad. We thank you. That was the old French broad by Lark. Check out our poetry page, LarkPoetry.com. And the word of the day is Plutonian. It's an adjective meaning relating to the dwarf planet Pluto. Also means relating to Pluto, the god of the underworld in Greek mythology, or relating to the underworld. Some etymology from the Latin from the Greek Pluton, Pluto, the god of the underworld. Earliest documented use was 1604. Some usage. The turbines are ready to be put into place and a large crew is busy in the Plutonian regions way down below. That was from looking back on October 4th, the Sun Journal, Lewiston, Maine, October 4th, 2013.
Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's Plutonian shore. Well, that was Edgar Allan Poe from The Raven, 1845. Beautiful. No one wants to hear you reallocating your 401k distribution with some drone on the phone. If you are switching funds around, go for the gusto. Plutonian junk bonds. Kevin Amarin and Nedra Roan. Cool to know from Newsday, New York, September 20th, 2006. And a bonus thought for the day. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Edmund Hillary said this. He was a mountaineer and explorer. He lived from July 20th, 1919 to 2008. And you know you gotta learn something today Make your life better The more you know, the more you know You'll make your life better And you know you gotta learn something today You make your life better building the Golden Gate Bridge, the lead structural engineer insisted on the installation of a safety net, even though its $130,000 cost was deemed exorbitant. Over the four years of its construction, the net saved 19 men who named themselves the, quote, halfway to hell club, end quote. Every day is born a new hero. Will he live? Will he die? We don't know. We'll leave it in the hands of the story. Short stories on Waking Up With Danny. Short stories on Waking Up With Danny. Actually, quite short and lengthish short stories on waking up with Danny. Not long but short, the stories are. Not long but short, the stories are. The hero fighting against the dark forces of the folk. While a man was polishing his new car, his four-year-old son picked up a stone and scratched some lines into the side of it. In anger, the man took the child's hand and hit it many times, not realizing he was using a wrench. At the hospital, the child lost all of his fingers due to multiple fractures. When the child saw his father with painful eyes, he asked, Dad, when will my fingers grow back? The man was so hurt and speechless, he went back to the car and kicked it many times, devastated by his own actions. Sitting in front of the car, he looked at the scratches his child had written. I love you, Dad. Author and title unknown. (laughs) 
Yeah, and that's going to do it for this episode of Waking Up with Danny. Join me next week, July 27th. We'll do it all over again. Thanks for listening, as always. Wake